have you subscribed to YouTube GH? What are you waiting for? Subscribe. Subscribe. Ah, what are you doing? Subscribe. There Subscribe. are warnings tonight that people are dying of heart attacks and strokes. Ghanaian president, Nana Akufo Addo. What a heartwarming news. What a great news. What a testimony. Remember, just a few days ago, I put out a video and I told all that the moment America begins to relax the lockdown on its states, that there's going to be a psychological liberation across the world especially around Africa. It has already started happening. Remember that about a week ago, Dr. Jerome Adams, American Surgeon General, had actually dumped the World Health Organization's predictive contagion model, and they decided to work with original data. It appears here from this address of the Ghanaian president that they have actually been using their own data generated by Ghanaian professionals. The president made it clear that they have also understood the way the virus is working. They are not depending on the World Health Organization. They have to rely on their own data generated. In other words, they are not working with the predictive one. They are working with the original data on ground. And based on that original data, Ghana has to open for business starting from tomorrow, April 20th. This is what we are calling on every African president to do. Use original data. We have some of the finest men and women in the medical profession. These guys are sought after all over the world. Let them go on the ground and generate data just like Ghana did. They can get the data. Tell us how is the virus behaving in your own country. Check it, get the data, and based on the data you get, use that to decide what to do with your nation. Do not lock your nation down because somebody predicted there will be 500,000 deaths in the next two months, or because somebody is predicting there's going to be 10 million deaths in the next three months. No, use the data that you can generate by yourself to decide whether to continue to lock down or to lift the lockdown, which is what Ghana has now shown leadership in doing by lifting it partially, and of course, as, as soon as they have lifted partially, it's going to continue to happen. That won't really get everywhere in the country. And I want to say a very big thank you to you, President Nana Akufuado. You are a man of your words. You are a man of action. I know that you are a great president. And what you have done is you have now shown a strong leadership. You have lifted the cloud of fear over the citizens of Africa, not just Ghanaians alone. Do you know what you have just done? You have given life to so many people in Africa. And we will never forget you for this. And you have to be specially rewarded for what you have done today. We are now calling on all the other presidents across Africa to tow the path of the Ghanaian president. If data could be generated by Ghanaian doctors, why can't it be generated by Nigerian doctors, by Ethiopian doctors? by Kenyan doctors, by South African doctors, so that Africa is opened up for business again. This man is thinking about the suffering people of Ghana. Everybody should do this. And this is to say that we are about to be open for business. God has answered our prayers. Congratulations, Republic of Ghana. Congratulations, Nana Kufado. We are with you. God bless you real good.